Happy Saturday! Judah is going to drive us to the water park today. Yeah? Yeah. You gonna drive? Um, no, <laughs> no, no, Lucas is putting his car seat back in because we had to switch it to Lucas's car last night because the boys went bowling, these boys went bowling. Did you have fun bowling? Yeah. Did you bowl a strike? Yeah. Put in the now. No. No. No, we didn't bowl a strike. I thought you did. We bowled three oh. strikes. What's up? I was like, I thought you did. So today we are going to go to the water park. Last year we went like all the time and this year we haven't even been and summer is pretty much already over. Almost. So we thought we needed to go at least once. Asher's to the point where I'm sort of comfortable with him being in that kind of environment. I I'm, I wouldn't put him out in the water or put him like out in the sun, so hopefully we can find a chair with the shade. Um, and we probably won't stay that long. Just go eat some lunch, get some pizza, and do a few uh, laps around the lazy river and then be good. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, we made it through the chaos that is the ticket line, and now we are headed inside Hurricane Harbor. Right, okay, now the fun of trying to find a chair. Oh, I'm getting rained on. Not really rain, but water dripping. Anyways, now comes the fun of trying to find a chair in the shade. We're about an hour and a half later than we thought we wanted to be like we wanted to get here right when they opened so that we'd have a better chance of finding a chair but we are an hour and a half after that point we're always running late that's what happens when you have kids anyway so we have to find a chair which is luck. so we kind of did a walkthrough didn't find anything so we decided to rent this little tent thing which Unfortunately, it's still only half shade, but at least the baby will be in shade. It's the best we can do. All right, here we go. We are in. Chelsea's getting food and drinks. Me and the little man. We're heading to get in some water. It is hot today. It's a good day to be at a water park. in the water and me and Judah are hanging out in this little tent. I can't tell if this tent was a good idea or not because yes, it's shade, but I also feel like it's very hot in this shade. Like there's no like air flowing through, even though there is that little window. And it's like, almost like the heat is just like trapped in here, if that makes sense. I can't tell if this is a good idea or not. But I guess it's better than not having a chair at all and having a chair in the sun, I guess. Asher is now taking a nap. I kind of want to take him out of his car seat because he gets so hot in there. I need to take him out. But I have been, uh, I got a cup of water and I've been just like putting it on him even though it kind of like makes him wake. But I'm trying to like keep him cool as much as I can. I feel like I wanted to come here so bad for Judah so he could have a fun day, but I'm kind of regretting it. I feel like Asher might be just too young, too small, because I don't want, I really don't want to put him in the pool with all the chlorine and the chemicals, because I still feel like he's a little too young for that. And I really also don't want to put sunscreen on him, because I also feel he's too young for that. So I'm kind of like stressed. Like, was this a good idea? Is this a bad idea? I don't know. I'm sure Judah is going to have a great time, and I just need to kind of just relax. Asher will be fine. We'll stay out of the sun. We'll be okay. We'll stay hydrated. And uh, just let Judah have a couple of hours of fun for today.
Are you having fun? Do you wish you were out there playing and not stuck in here? Yeah, me too, kind of. Next year, next year we'll have so much fun. This is so funny to me because when I was a baby, all of the pictures of me are pretty much the same way. My tummy was just so big and round that shirts, <laughs> whoa, where are you going? Shirts would not stay down on me. And so I think it's so funny with him. Like when I put him in a shirt, he's really trying to like get down. When I put him in his shirt, it just like pops up. I think you're just having the most fun at this little uh, foot washer area. Would you like any sauce? No, no sauce. Okay. And then, can I get a four-piece regular nugget? No sauce for this either? No sauce for those either. Okay. And then a large peach lemonade. Which one okay. you Tropical berry. And then a large tropical berry lemonade. Okay. So, we left. We left Hurricane Harbor. And I think the only one that had a good time Judah, which is fine because that's the reason why we went was because I wanted Judah to have a good time and I wanted him to be able to go this summer before it was too late. Oh, hold on, it's time to get our food. All right, sorry guys, we had to stop and get some spicy nugs. Okay, so the reason why Judah was the only one that had a good time. Number one, it was super hot and I think Asher was overheating. I was trying to keep him hydrated, but he was much like throwing everything back up so I knew he was like not hydrated and he was hot and unfortunately that little tent that we rented was not really that great of a spot it was still really like hot inside that tent I mean it was just a hot day so I don't think anything was gonna help so you know I was with Asher the whole time so I was hot he was hot he was a little cranky sorry the memory card ran out of space and I had to delete stuff so it cut me off and I don't know where exactly it cut me off but basically Asher was hot I was hot Lucas was with Judah and they went to the lazy river which was you know super fun and relaxing most of the time unfortunately this time it was not very relaxing for Lucas because do you want to talk about it I lost the GoPro camera so we just bought a, a new GoPro camera. I think it was after Christmas, so it hasn't been that long that we've had it. And yeah, he had it in his pocket of his trunks. And somehow it came out of his pocket of his trunks. Well, I was just holding it because Judo was floating. And then every time I kept trying to like film something, you're like, no, 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 no. Because he just wanted to play. He wanted to float. He didn't want to film or, you know, anything. So I was like, okay, fine. So finally I was just like, all right, well, I'm just going to put it away. We're just going to have fun. We're going to float around, whatever. These swimming trunks, they're, the pockets are a little tight. And then when you put your hand in it, the pockets tend to stick to your hand. So as you're pulling your hand out, the pocket tends to stick to your hand and you almost pull the pocket out. So I think that's what happened is as I went to put the GoPro in the pocket, I let go. And then as I was pulling my hand out, I basically pulled the pocket out which then kind of pushed the GoPro out and it just fell. And I didn't realize it until a little ways further on. I was like, oh no, Judah's being really cute. This is kind of a fun area of the thing. Let me get this on film. And I reached down to my pocket and there was nothing. And I just, like I, oh, man, it was the worst feeling. So he came to me and he's like, I'm just sick to my stomach and I'm like, it's okay, it's okay. Like maybe somebody will turn it in, but you know, chances of that in this world nowadays, you know, just thinking, okay, it's, it's probably gone, but maybe somebody will turn it in. 
and you know I'm just trying to like convince myself maybe somebody needed it more than we needed it maybe someone was gonna sell it and then be able to put food on their table for their kids I don't know I'm just like trying in my mind to make the best out of it you were way more optimistic about it than I was I mean I was trying to be optimistic about it I mean it's when something like that happens it's a choice. I mean, obviously you want to be like upset about it. You have to like force yourself. I mean, I clearly I was upset about it, but I was like trying really hard to make the best out of it. At the same time, hoping that there were good people in the world still that would turn in a camera like that. So then what happened? I went to Lost and Found and asked if anyone had turned it in and they said no. And I said, but we're open until seven, so you can come back often and see if anyone turned it in throughout the day. And basically at this point, my day was shot. I was done. Day ruined at that point, yeah. No. I tried to go back a couple times, like through it, just to see if I could find it. And I took Judah with me and we were just playing around and I was just looking. I went once by myself, didn't find it. Took Judah back. At this point, just to have fun and maybe get lucky. Went around twice, didn't find it. So, no one had turned it in. And I had gone back basically three rounds around the thing and didn't find it. So you're thinking it's, it's just gone. If someone had it, they would have turned it in. So then we're, we decided to pack up and leave because Asher was just overheating and too hot. And so we're like, well, I mean, we'll fill up that thing online. We'll check in at Lost and Found before we leave and see what happens. And then what happened? So I went back one last time and I said, hey, I'm just checking to see if anyone has dropped off that GoPro. Do you guys have it? And she looks at me with no expression on her face and says, actually, I think someone did turn it in. And I was like, wait, what, are you serious? And so she pulls it out, pulls out our GoPro from a drawer. And I was like, no way. Someone turned it in. There are still good people in this world. Someone, and I don't know who, but someone was very kind, found it, and turned it in. And I pray that God blesses that person immensely for what they did. Because, I mean, they could have very easily kept it sold it or kept it for themselves, but they turned it in. Thank you, person out there who turned it in. I know you're probably not watching this, but thank you. So that was our, that was our day. It, it was not the greatest. It, it was not a good idea. <laughs> and to make our great day even better, do you want to see what happened? This. This is parenthood. This is a picture of parenthood right here. This is what happened on our ride home. And I'm pretty sure it's all over the car seat too, yeah? Oh, it's, yeah. Big mess. Yeah. All right, <laughs> he's getting mad. You better change it. Oh, look at that sad face, I'm sorry. All right, I bet that felt good though. That feel good? Yeah. <laughs> okay, get changed. All right, all clean, bathed and everything. <laughs> and he screamed the whole time during that bath. You're all clean. Yay! Now we gotta go check on the car seat. I'm kind of scared to look at it. I feel like I should have warned you guys before I showed uh, Asher's poopy diaper. So if you are sensitive to that sort of stuff, I am about to show the car seat also. So look away if you don't want to see it. Here we go. Yep, that is a lot of poop. Luckily this little insert comes out and I think most of it is on that. So that should be pretty easy, but it looks like a little bit maybe got down and into the cracks there and a, a little bit right there too. Looks like I'll be doing some laundry tonight and I gotta get Asher sure because he's crying. Hey buddy, it's okay. It's okay, I'll get you. It's okay buddy, it's okay. Do you guys like this new mess in it sheet that I got? I got it on Etsy, it's so cute, right? I'm like obsessed with it. Asher, you got your PJs on. Are you, yeah, are you ready for bed? Are you ready to go to bed? Yeah. What are you doing, Judah? I'm going to bed. You're going to bed? Yeah. Okay. Good night.
So what happened, I had to take pretty much the whole car seat apart to clean it. Yeah, there was poop down in there and I had to wash the pieces. They are now hanging up here to dry. Hopefully they're dry by tomorrow when we uh, need to use it to go to church. We had this same car seat with Judah and we never had this problem with Judah. I don't I don't think I've ever taken this this car seat apart and this is the second time I've had to do it with Asher. We're pretty much I don't know if you guys heard that, but it was like a Lucas just fell apparently. I don't know. He's bringing me my this laundry. This laundry basket's heavy and I fell coming in the door. <laughs> Sorry. Whenever we hear Asher now, when he poops and he's in the car seat, we're like, oh, that's going to be a blowout. I don't know if it's just like the position that he's in when he's in the car seat that makes the poop go out the back. I'm getting the very good at taking his car seat apart. And now in the way, why you can't get it? Huh? He's too in the way and he's putting me down. Really? Yeah. I can't. Come sit on my lap. Judah, I need to tell you something. Hmm? Very very, very important. What would, it's much worse because I want to, he's not one of them. Okay, done. but hey, no, no, come here. I need to tell you something very, very, very important. Are you ready? Yeah. You ready to hear this very important message? Yeah. I love you! I love you, 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 I love you. <laughs> All right, well, today has been a doozy. Come here, Judah, come say goodbye. So I'm going to finish the laundry and go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys on Thursday, hopefully. <laughs> Bye. Bye.